dog is a person's best friend, but sadly for one local family, they lost theirs to a hit and run. A one year old pup was killed by a car Tuesday morning. The owner now demanding change. Winnie Dort is everywhere at five with what they're doing to bring awareness. Speeding down side streets is not necessary. That's why Alyssa Freitag is on a mission, creating a petition in hopes everyone will join in. She wants speed bumps on side streets in Parma, especially on Lincoln Avenue off State Road, where her one-year-old white husky pit mix was hit and killed. It's very hard. <laughs> I miss her. She was my best friend. Um, she just turned a year old November 9th. She was the most kind and gentle dog that I've ever met. She loved everybody. Freitag says Sweet Basil got out Tuesday morning after they came back from their morning walk. They didn't notice immediately. When her boyfriend went to go search for her, she was already gone. A few teens carried Basil to the sidewalk. He was trying to give her mouth to mouth, trying to do anything that he could, but she just didn't make it. The speed limit on Lincoln Avenue was 25. Freitag says the driver could not have been going that speed. If you're not going over 25 miles an hour, you should be able to see her. You should be able to at least try and break. And if you don't break in time, I don't think that it would be fatal damage like it was. Freitag posted her heartbreaking experience to Facebook. What she didn't know was other neighbors began to share similar stories. So they are standing behind her. It makes me feel amazing to know I'm not alone. Right now, there are over 200 signatures. She's working to get to 1,000 or more. I'm definitely going to go to... Um, the council in Parma, see what I can do, what I can get done, because I want my dog to be remembered. And she wants to save another family from the pain of losing their furry loved one. Basil deserved better. Um, every dog that's happened to deserved better. And I just want to make a change. In Parma, Winnie Dorch, 19 News. Well, Freitag just started the petition a few days after the incident. Of course, we'll check back with the city when they have a chance to review it. If you're interested in advocating alongside Freitag, you can find more information under this story at cleveland19.com.